Hey guys, welcome to Co-Play. We're fighting the Egg Genesis. Hooray. Whatever the fuck that, uh, why it's called the Genesis, I don't know. <laughs> if it actually looked like a Genesis, that'd be interesting, but that would, I don't know how that the would work. The fuck is a Genesis, The Sega Victor? Genesis. Okay, that's kind of a stretch, but all right. I mean, like, I'm not saying it's a solid idea, but, like, it would be a better idea for them. Like, this thing has no reason to be called the Genesis. It really doesn't. It's more like the Egg Octopus or something. I don't the, fucking know. You know the Genesis was called in every other region, right? The Mega Drive? Yep. Yeah. Just uh, making sure. I mean, I actually prefer Genesis. It sounds cooler. It kind of does. Like, yeah, granted it was called the Mega Drive, but whatever. It's the Genesis. Like, it was I mean, just yeah, us. The Genesis, the Dreamcast, the Saturn. Saturn was kind of weird, but like the Genesis and the Dreamcast. Oh, just That's kind of the motto of the of the Sega Saturn. Kind of weird. Kind of weird. I mean, it was the awkward boom, boom, boom. Grant, like it was in that. It was in the era of like the 64 and the PS1, but it wasn't as good as either, and didn't have games as good as either. No. Nope. And then the Dreamcast came along and be like, "Bitch, you want Xbox games? Here you go." Because <laughs> the Dreamcast was almost as good as the original Xbox. It almost was. I and think, the Saturn had some great games. Oh yeah, Knights, Sen Knights is amazing. I think Shen no Shenmue was Dreamcast. Shenmue was Dreamcast. But like, actually, like disclaimer. I'm sorry, I sound like a hipster, but like. I've never actually played Knights, I just know it by reputation. I've played it, it's pretty fun. I like it a lot. It's like, what's interesting is like, it's another Sonic Team property. Yep. And like, there's a, there's definitely a lot of that Sonic Team feel to it. And there just hasn't been a game in forever, so. Nope. They made one for the Wii. A friend of mine who likes the original <laughs> said it kind of sucked. <clears throat> I mean, I, I don't, I didn't play it. My sister actually played that one a lot. She got it. Um, the game itself, I think was okay, but like, the presentation was awful because everyone had like, Cheesy, awful British accents. So, oh, oh shit! What the fuck? Where did that come from? He fires missiles at you, but I, like, I forgot they that they looped his... like a full 180. Also, like I think if you know, it, like you can glitch this fight, so you can just like not get thrown off. But I didn't oh wait, know here that. you are. You're up. You're you're still up here, I guess. Beat the. Oh no, I only was... had, uh, oh, had one la it. hit left in him for some reason. I didn't get it. All right, whatever. But like, yeah, so Knights is cool. Um, I think, uh, Legend, not Legend of Dragoon, I'm thinking of something, uh... Sonic, run! Thanks! I wasn't planning on doing that at any point today. Yeah, who needs to dodge? It was, uh... Um, Jesus, I cannot remember the name of this game, but it was like, uh, Skies of Arcadia. Missed it. No, 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 that's a different game. <clears throat> Damn, Panzer Dragoon! Panzer Pan Dragoon! Panzer yeah. Dragoon was a Saturn title, I'm pretty sure. But uh, like, yes, the original came out on the Saturn, uh, the sequel was an Xbox exclusive and cons popularly considered to be one of the best Xbox games ever. Really? Yep. I di a, I didn't know it got a sequel on the Panzer Xbox. Panzer Dragoon Orita. Oh, okay. And like widely considered to be one of the must-own best titles of the Xbox. See, I know the Xbox got like kind of a spiritual success. The Xbox One specifically got a spiritual successor in the form of Crimson Dragon, but from what I understand, that game was severely lacking. So, yeah, I heard about but that. But I'd never heard about Orta. That's a new one to me. God, hit him. Oh, you were. Like, what the fuck? It took away the hitbox. That's fun. Shit, I almost died. Oh, you're fine. Boom. There you go. Farewell, friend. Oh, but wait. Now you've got to run. See, this, like... As a mechanic, I appreciate because it's like the thing is trying to crash itself into you. You gotta run fast as Sonic. Boom! Farewell. Yeah, but now it's too late to now it's too late to course correct, correct for it. So that's great. But that's like, how I usually have to do it. But like, I, as a mechanic, I'm okay with that. I just wish it was cooler. Yeah, it's neato. Uh, um. Yeah. Ha. <sighs> But yeah, so the Saturn was kind of like a little weird. It didn't have any like it didn't have any explicit Sonic titles. It had Sonic Jam, which I think was more of a collection. No oh yeah, I forgot about. Uh, there was that, and I okay, think okay, this alcohol is finally <laughs> starting to really get to me now. Yeah, I'm it doesn't feeling, register as quickly shaky. when you're just like chilling out playing games. But like, it doesn't. When, That's... When, after a while, even then, it's like you're gonna feel it. Yeah, Are it might feeling? take another. Yeah. Are you about to say what I think you're about to say? No, what are you talking about? I don't you know say, what you're talking about. Say it, Victor. Are you feeling it now, Mr. Krabs? <laughs> 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 oh, my God. That stupid show. Oh, God. I used to love that so show. It was so good. Like, genuinely, though, watch the old episode. It was genuinely fucking hilarious. Like, seasons three and four of SpongeBob were the best. <clears throat> 
everything after action well maybe not everything i don't remember like when exactly it got awful but there was a point there was one specific point between like season four and six where it was just like nope never mind this isn't this is no good no more this is nothing but marketing bullshit and (laughs) that's it I never, like, had a strong drop-off, like, okay, this is where it sucks now kind of bit or feeling with the show. I just kind of stopped watching. It wasn't anything super personal. It just... Yeah. I mean, it was the same with me. Like, I didn't mean... I didn't stop watching because it got bad. I stopped watching, and then I came back to it one day and realized it was bad. I don't know what happened. Oh, we forgot about this level, I think, Oh, in shit, our we forgot about the jungle. Yeah, we because forgot about the jungle. Because the jungle is the most forgettable thing ever. There's no boss. There's no, like, rhyme or reason to it being here. It's just here. It's a very- Also, may I say, it took me a year and a fucking half. That's, like, kind of, that's not real, but, like, fucking forever to figure out how to cross this lake because it's <laughs> unintuitive as shit. No, it absolutely- I remember having a lot of trouble with it, and, like, I'm eventually like, how the fuck just- I get over there? Event- I think I might have done that by accident. Yeah, I feel like that's how I did it. It's like, oh, you've got to use the Jesus power to walk on water, and then you can go. (laughs) That's how you do it. Naturally, because we've totally told you you can do that before. And you've only done this once before, so at this point, if you've forgotten about this mechanic, then, like, that's, like, totally reasonable. (laughs) Back as a kid, you took time between your game sessions. So, like, yeah, you could have forgotten about doing that. Absolutely. And, I mean, like, the difference between, like, sand and water is crazy. Like, you figure this ability gives you the ability to boing, walk on quicksand. Boing, it's like, boing, okay. Boing, boing, I can, boing, 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 boing. Like, you, I can believe that that would give you the ability to walk on quicksand. Like, that's kind of like a whatever thing. But then suddenly it's like you're faced with water. And it's like, Fuck. oh, surely I have a way across this other than the stupid ability. Shit, missed it. Also, these stages in particular are just significantly less fun because, because, like, you are burdened by Elise. You have lost access to most of your abilities as Sonic because you have to carry this fucking woman around. I don't mind it too much, actually. Um, like, I understand why, but or I understand the, why it would be annoying, but I actually don't mind it too much because it's, 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 it is its own unique set of mechanics that I don't think are like inherently too bad. The I idea, mean, if they the worked. idea, yeah, if they worked. But like the idea of Elise giving Sonic a new ability when she's with him, I'm okay with that. I and mean, like I... if it was, if it was in a better game, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I can see. Uh, here's where, here's where I'm coming from. Like. I always, like, base my game design principles off the idea that, like, you build towards things. You build consistency in gameplay, and you build towards, like, how the game is supposed to work. And up to the point where you first carry Elise, like, your gameplay has been built off of, like, traditional Sonic slash platforming mechanics. So Sonic has, like, has his own set of abilities, including the light speed dash, the homing attack, and that, like, whatever slide you get. And once you carry Elise, like, you have to kind of forget about some of that because he loses abilities. Yeah, it's different. I think he can still do the slide, actually. I forget. Maybe he can. But, like... Awkward transition. Yeah, but... So, it, admittedly, like, you're right. Yeah. The transition between normal Sonic and Elise is can not we... so drastic. Yeah, you can that... still do the slide. Okay, cool. Just So, checking. like, the transition between Sonic and Elise is not that great. But it seems like a weird thing to throw at you, like, when you've been building a particular gameplay style. And, and like, granted, it doesn't actually affect it that much. Like, you play this section of the game, basically, like, basically, like you play any other as Sonic. Drastically slow down. Granted, yeah, you're a lot fucking slower and you have the Jesus, you have what I'm going to call the Jesus shield because you walk on fucking water. <laughs> no, I understand. I de- like, it definitely has its, uh... Let's call. Let's charitably call them flaws. But like, <clears throat> I mean, if it did a better job of explaining them to you, like if it ever said use the shield to walk on non-solid surface, then maybe at some point in my child brain I would have put together, hey, I can use this to walk on water. But you have to use it to walk. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> but you have to have done that first before the game will tell you that. There Which is, is bullshit design. Yeah. That's really bad. There was one little thing. Turtle. Uh, there was one thing on the, uh, there was one of those little question mark things on the. Um, oh, yeah. That might have been how I figured it out. But like, also gun robots. The fuck? Oh, shit. Well, Turtle, you dick. Well, you came back up. 
You like rose from the depths. Okay, I'm confused. <laughs> Uh, I just kind of accept it at this point, like, whatever. Also, frame rate. Frame rate. Yeah, how about that? Apparently, water is taxing on the machine, I suppose. Water, I mean, I don't know if it's even water. It's like the number of things. Well, yeah, the water for sure doesn't help. But, like, the number of characters on screen is certainly not helping either. Yeah. Like, this game was not I pressed a. optimized at all. Like, it didn't have time to be. Like... See, there's there's things that can be hard on the game on in its base design, and then there's things I like kind of have to. <clears throat> I can't forgive, but I can like. Shit! I fuck! Can, what shit! The fuck! Shit! Sonic. Fuck. All right, sure. That that worked out in the end, but like, there's things I can forgive, not forgive, but like justify because of like what happened to it. Because, Hooray, it, done. because the game was rest of shit, it wasn't play tested, and because it wasn't play tested, things don't work right. Yep. So that <sighs> like that's just a byproduct of. Sega being a dickhead. Indeed. So Sega did not make good business decisions for a long time. And they still haven't. I don't know what happened. Like, it wasn't until, like, this year slash last year that Sega, like, kind of pulled its head out of its ass. I just wish they do. I just wish the one thing they do, like, give Sonic a bit of a break. I am okay with the idea of, an, of not having I mean, a new Sonic game for a while. Uh, Bring back one of your other franchises. You have... Guys of fucking Arcadia. Uh, sorry, keep talking. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Uh, uh, but like, you have Skies of Arcadia, a game which admittedly I've never played, but it looks dope, and a lot of huge JRPG fans say is a great game. Do some other games. Give Sonic a rest. At this point, Sega is basically unanimous with that one title. Do yeah. something else, guys. Yeah, I agree. Like, sorry, I had to go check technical things on the computer because I had error messages, but it looks like we're fine. Um, okay, cool. Uh, do we want to call this one then just to uh, be on the safe side? Yeah, or? it would probably be best to go ahead and call this here. Um, I think we're at time anyway. Sorry to cut Cody's rant short. Like, I'll try and, like, uh, jump back into that next episode. But, yeah, we're at time anyway, so it works. All right. Um, Cool, so thank you all so much for watching. We hope you're enjoying this series of Sonic 06, because it certainly is a lot of fun to do, and we hope you enjoy it. Shit, yeah, it is. So we will see you in the next episode. Take care, guys. Farewell.